So definitely get ready for the Alpha Investments to write, make another angry video. I am a little confused. If he doesn't like where Hasbro is going, why does he continue to buy the stock? But anyway, Bank of America says Hasbro could fall 34% due to company ruining Magic the Gathering card game. Wow. That will definitely get their attention. I'm sure their CEO of Hasbro today woke up and he's probably not too pleased with Wizards of the Coast. He's not pleased with Aaron, who, as we mentioned in live stream, he posted about, oh, why are local game stores not having enough tournaments? It's because you make a shitty product and you're trying to milk us and you don't give any support to the local game store. Outside of, you know, the 10 cent promos, right? Totally worth. Hasbro is killing its Golden Goose card game, Bank of America downgrades to sell. Shares of Hasbro, minus 8%, were on track for their worst day since 2020 on Monday. We've only been, the stock market has only been open for a few hours as, as of the recording of this video, by the way. Following a double downgrade from Bank of America, analyst Jason Haas lowered his rating for the stock from buy to underperform and slashed his price target to $42 from $76. So yeah, uh, this is probably going to get their attention and especially since they're pointing, they're not saying, oh, Hasbro, there's no Transformer movie, there's no power. They, they are putting the entire blame in a potential 34% decrease in stock. And its price is already low. For it to be slashed 34 more percent is insanity, right? Because the price is already at, I think it's at an uh, all-time low. So to go down another 34 percent, to go down another 8 percent in a day, in, a, in one hour to drop by 8 percent is not a good sign of the health of the company. Like I said, if you play Magic, if you buy Magic, if you, this is the end. If they continue on, like I said, I predicted five years. It looks like management is probably all going to get fired sometime this year. If they continue on with the current style of charging a lot of money for very little for proxies, I agree with you guys now. I had my doubts in the beginning, but I 100% agree with you that it is a proxy. It is $1,100, as Alpha Investments would say. I have no idea why he continues to buy the stock. Because every day the stock gets lower and lower. I I have ARK Invest. I know what this is like. <laughs> Trust me. If anyone knows what owning Hasbro stock is like right now, there is no bottom. You, you buy ARK Invest and it drops 10%. You're like, oh, it's a good new price. Oh, now it dropped another 20%. Oh, now it dropped 40%. Oh. <laughs> there's, you know, it's not, there's no bottom. Like the idea that, oh, this is an all-time low. It's an all-time low today. Tomorrow, it might look like an all-time high compared to what it will be. So Hasbro, you know, th these are Rudy videos, by the way. Uh, this is Rudy's video. Hasbro stock hits a new low. CFO retires. Uh, not Rudy. It's going to hit a new low a few times in a row. I mean, today will be its new low for sure. You don't drop 8% in one hour and not, you know, like 57, Rudy, is generous. 58 is generous. Right there, the Bank of America analyst is targeting at 42. That's a long drop away. 42. 42. We are making an impact. Let our voices be heard. We need new management, or at the very least, bring back Richard Garfield, bring back like the OGs and you know, have them manage it and try it out. Maybe they can do it, maybe they can't. I don't know. But what I do know is the current management. The current social justice warrior team is not going to cut it. They never were going to cut it. And finally, somebody calls them out. And it's not like a greasy magic player, a smelly magic player. That video had to get moved from today because I had to talk about this. It's Bank of America. And it's not just, oh, hey, a random Bank of America employee. It's the dude who is the, who's in charge of determining if it's a good buy or not. And he's determining this is a bad buy. You know, Rudy's like, oh, hey, the stock's a good buy. I don't think so, man. If the game's going to die, then the stock is definitely not a good buy. As a old school player 
it just irks me to see people be rewarded for cancel culture, people being rewarded for all types. And you know it is. All the employees that have been recently hired, you know how they got hired. I don't need to go into much more detail. They got hired because they canceled people like me. I'm the whale. I spend hundreds of thousands on magic a year, and I'm not going to buy no more. You might be like, oh, you have a distributor contract. Yeah, it's so bad. My distributor told us we don't need to buy Brothers War this year, and we can just wait it out and see what happens next year. Distributors will drop magic. Like, this isn't, oh, a local game store problem. This isn't a player base problem. This is a, way up there. If the players have a problem and they don't want to play standard, then the local game stores have a problem and they don't want to carry magic. If the local game stores don't want to carry magic, the distributor does not want to carry magic. And then it's over. It's over. And that's what's happening. I actually made a live stream yesterday and I talked about this exact scenario that Brothers War, it seems that most distributors don't want to accept product. Just like Rudy saying, oh, Jumpstart. I think it goes a lot deeper than Jumpstart. My distributor sent an email Saturday when Rudy was making this video right before saying, hey, if you guys don't want to, I know a lot of you guys just want to buy Pokemon or Funkos or whatever you specialize on and none of you want to buy Magic. So we've heard you guys, uh, and that's customer service, right? We heard you, we're going to cut back on Brothers War, we're not going to order as much. And you know who said that? It was Target. So if Target is saying, hey, we don't want this stuff, uh, and then, therefore, you know, if you have to, basically, it said you have to let us know if you want Brothers War because we probably won't have very much of it. And because we won't have very much of it, we're not going to enforce the 40% buy contract that you signed for this product until the end of the year. I am in a Facebook group with everyone, and we all agreed that we're not going to buy this product. We're not going to buy Jumpstart Brothers War. That's, you know, the product that Rudy has been smacking on. We're not going to buy Draft Brothers War, another product that Rudy refuses to carry now. Um, collector's Edition Brothers War, people generally don't buy anyway. So maybe it's just set. But then out of the, the group, I think there's over 50 people in that group who have similar contracts to mine. I don't think anyone's buying set either. Like, Pokemon is hot. I don't know if you guys know how hot Pokemon is. They're coming out with these, like, amazing sets with the all arts. You know, some of the most beautiful sets in Pokemon history. And it sells, like, hotcakes because to get, like, your Espeon, you need to open 1,400 packs. So trust me, you have grown adults buying cases and cases of cards. You don't see it. So, like, it's super obvious to me because I own a game store. And I open all my cards too. People come in and they want Pokemon. They want to open so much Pokemon because they're chasing that Espeon, that Gengar, that Lugia alternative art. And they will, they'll sit there for, you know, and they'll keep buying and buying and buying. That's the type of customer you want. Not the smelly customers of Magic. Anyway. That video got pushed back for next week because I thought this topic was more relevant. We will be talking about this topic on live in more detail at 5 p.m. today. So see you guys at 5. But at the end of the day, do not buy the stock. Please, no matter what Alpha Investment tells you to do, do not buy until it settles down. I mean, if the Bank of America guy thinks it's $42, even if you're more optimistic, it's still a long drop. You're going to get it at 50, right? I don't think anyone believes this stock is going to be a higher than 50 soon.